morning! Welcome to another episode of Away Ako the Tele Magazine. Good morning! Eh, kami ni Lizelle, sa kaiikot namin at saka sa pag-taste test ng mga gatas, parang lalo kami na curious kung ano ba yung mga differences ng cows, ng carabaos, at saka ng goat's milk. So, sino pinakamagaling na tao na makakausap natin? Kaya kami nagpunta ni Lizelle dito sa National Dairy Authority. Sama kayo! Hi, Admin Grace. Thank you for having us this morning. Hopefully, we can help the consumers. Yung ang daming tanong about dairy. Ano ba, Admin Grace, ang differences ng mga iba-ibang gatas? From cow, carabao, goat? Okay. Uh, the, the basic difference in, in the, the milk of cattle, milk of goats, and the milk of carabaos is actually in the content of the fat. So, ganito yun, uh, ang, ang carabao has the highest uh, fat content among the, the three types of uh, animal's milk. Kaya ba siya ang pinakamasarap? Kasi, uh, ang kasi syempre, uh, mas mataas yung cream. Mm. So, the creamier the milk, uh, the tastier it gets. Mm. Yung cow naman uh, uh, has about, in terms of specific content, it has about uh, 3 to 5% fat yung Mura Buffalo, nasa mga 5 to 8% fat. So, ganun kalaki yung difference. Whereas, yung goat's milk naman, nasa mga 3 to 3.5%. But, mas digestible ang fat sa goat's milk. And in fact, maraming nagsasabi na yung, yung goat's milk has medicinal properties Sa so, kanibang so, sinasabi nila, that's closest to mother's milk. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Pero yung iba naman, goat's sinasabi milk. nila, yung parang maanggo yung lasa ng goat's oh. milk. Ang, ang anggo, it's not actually in the milk. Mm -hmm. Kaya, pag nag, meron kang goat farm, dapat yung management mo should be in a way that the back is far away from the dams. Yung back, siya yung maanggo. Yung lalaki. Yung lalaki. So kaya pag malapit siya sa milking area mo, so na-absorb ng milk. Malaki din ang effect sa cleaning, kaya dapat yung hygiene and sanitation sa farms talagang nandun. Yung milk, pag na-excrete na yun from the animal, whether goats, carabao, or cattle, di nasa container na yun. Di yung container mo, bago napunta yung milk doon, dapat malinis siya. Tapos uh, tatakpan mo kaagad, then, uh, i i palamigin mo kasi yung milk coming from the animals, mataas ang temperature. At kung hindi mo malalamig kaagad, uh, dadami yung bacteria. So kaya, i magkaroon ka kaagad ng means to bring down the temperature of the milk. So, habang prepare mo ang delivery ng milk mo to a processing center, merong tinatawag naming sensory evaluation. So, titingnan kung wala bang mga particles, wala bang mga dirt na, na, na ano sa milk. And then, uh, i-ano nila niya, i-smell kung wala bang ibang amoy. So, kasi sa sensory evaluation pa lang, kung hindi papasa yung isang milk coming from one farmer, hindi na nila tatanggapin mm. yan. Then, uh, next is the acidity level. Iti test pa ng collection center kung wala bang halo ang ang milk. But before the farmer uh, delivers his milk to the collection center, dapat marunong na rin ang mga farmers to check kung hindi ba siya gumamit ng antibiotics. Kasi he is not allowed to milk that cow or bring the milk to the collection mm -hmm. center. Yung ating local dairy industry focuses on fresh, pure milk. So, wala talagang ano yon, Walang walang halo anuman. Mga nanay dyan, mga lola, better na you're able to give fresh products to your ano, mga anak, anak. Diba, sa, para sa damis. Pero dito na lang sa DA, eh, may available rin silang stocks uh, na for sale. Uh, hindi pa dumating yung deliveries, meron nang nag-aabang at meron nang nagtatanong, hindi pa ba dumating ang delivery? Mm -hmm. And once na deliver na in a few hours ubus na. To what do you credit credit that? Siyempre, ng yung consciousness ng mga tao that there is already uh, available supply of locally produced milk and especially fresh milk. And 
meron ding ano, vital information na malaman ng lahat. Kasi yung mga tetrapak, yun ang important talaga yun. Correct. Mm-hmm. Correct. Kasi yun yung UHT, yes. Ultra High Temperature Processed Milk. Mm-hmm. Ang shelf life niya is 6 months and even more. Yeah. Now if we compare that to our locally produced milk, what we have is HTST, High Temperature Short Time, or the pasteurized milk. Up to 10 days lang, yung keeping quality. But the vitamins and minerals sa pasteurized milk are all intact in its natural quantities. And mas masarap talaga ang pasteurized milk. But what our consumers should know is that when the UHT processed milk is open, that can stay for uh, 7 to 10 days na lang din. Depending on how cool your storage facility is. So dito sa ref natin, dapat alam din ng mga consumers na yung ref, di ba, merong freezer, tapos may chiller compartment, and then yung ano na, main. yung refrigerator, yung uh-huh. main. So yung ating chiller, nasa mga 4 degrees yan, and that is the proper temperature where the milk should be stored. And don't buy too much na hindi mo mm-hmm. makukuha. Yes, I think that's the yes. truth. Yes. So, uh-huh. Para masaya naman ang mga consumers at hindi maging hindrance sa pagbili ng locally produced milk, yung shelf life niya. Mm-hmm. Kung gusto mong magkaroon ng iba-ibang products, napaka-simple ang principle. Ganito lang yon. So, you have the raw milk, tapos, i-pasteurize mo kung gusto kang magkaroon ng pasteurized milk. Gamitin mo yung double boiler. So, you have uh, a bigger caldero wherein you put the water and the smaller pan na ilagay mo yung, wa- yung milk. milk. And then slow fire lang. Tapos steer mo lang, steer. Pag meron na siyang parang maliit na mga bula-bula, magano ka lang ng 15 seconds. And that's it. You have completed your pasteurization. That's enough. That's enough. Tapos lalagyan mo ng concoction of the flavoring, then you will have your flavored milk. But just in case you, you don't want to do that and you want to have evaporated milk, so all you have to do is to just continue cooking, until uh, a certain percentage of moisture is gone, then you have your evaporated milk. And if you continue uh, cooking with evaporated, evaporated milk, mm-hmm. then magiging mas condensed na siya, then you have your condensed milk. Mm-hmm. Yung sweetened condensed milk, if you continue cooking that, then magiging yema na yan, and then mm-hmm. pastillas pag gusto mong mas harder. Meron nga kami ano, eh, product development seminars, na nagtuturo din kami kung paano mag-process ng iba-ibang products which have higher value. Natutuwa ako when I see local butter and cheese also, mm-hmm. diba? and mm-hmm. even yogurt. Yes. Gagha kayong salamat sa inyong pagpapahalaga sa dairy industry. And we hope that many consumers will be able to go to the supermarkets and find our locally produced milk. For every liter of milk that you buy from the supermarkets, you have the farmers out there in the rural areas that have been supported in their livelihood, in in their uh, income, and thereby contributing to rural economic development. Parang health for everyone and wealth for the country. Wow! I like that. <laughs> so I, I hope na marami po kayo natutunan, katulad no po sa amin ni Lizelle, na every week po, marami po kami natutunan ni Lizelle na kasama kayo. Please join us for next week's episode of OA Ako!